Hello guys and welcome once again to the same workshop. My name is Dela Ola Sukome. And today I want to show you guys how to cut a v-neck. This particular one that I'm putting on. This v-neck outfit can be used for a senator outfit. You can use it as a casual. As this, what I'm wearing right now is like a hoodie but It's kind of like a new style that I just decided to like fix up. As you can see, it's very very simple. It's more of an elastic around here. So I'll show you guys how to cut this neck. So if you're doing your own, you can choose another kind of sleeve this one is an elastic hoodie type and you can use any different kind of sleeve just look casual and look simple and look like a like a like a boss you know what i'm saying so uh this tutorial is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial and it is um a requested video and i decided to make it public like to post it on my youtube channel it is frequently requested by one of my um intensive class subscribers so I decided to make it a public video so i hope you guys enjoy the video if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button it is very very important and don't forget to hit that subscriber button if this is your first time coming to this youtube channel and i hope you enjoy the video as you can see this is the um this is what i'll be using you can see i have the back this will be the back of the outfit itself it's going to be black and the front is going to be of this yellow color so the very first thing I'll be doing here is I will be slanting my shoulder right here. I'll be slanting the shoulder by two. Actually, it depends on the person you're making the outfit for. If they are those kind of guys that gym and they have a broad shoulder and you can make it a little bit lower like 2.5 inches. But here I'll be slanting by two because I will be the one to wear it. This is just a requested video that one of my um, intensive class requested for how to how to cut a a v-neck um senator outfit so this is going to be a v-neck but first and foremost i will take you guys through the process so i'm going to stand the shoulder i'm going to mark it straight can you see that after i make it i'm going to cut it i'm going to cut that out Make sure your hand is straight. Okay, so after I cut it out, you can see I already slant it. Now, remember when we cut our senator, any outfit that I cut, I used to add my allowance to the back. As you can see here, the allowance is at the back right here. So now I'm going to move this downward I'm going to make sure they are balanced at the bottom right here I'm going to straighten it so the allowance will be on top of this part you can see right here we have the allowance and I'm going to fold it over just the amount I'll be stitching is what I'll be folding over so here I'll be stitching, stitching like half of an inch around the shoulder side so I'll be folding over half of an inch. I'm going to iron it to make it stay firm. You can see that. Make sure what you fold inside here is not beyond half of an inch. You can see that that's half of an inch. I'm going to iron it very well again. Make sure it's balanced. So after that, the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be cutting out my shoulder. Uh, I'll be marking my shoulder. Uh, my shoulder is uh, my shoulder is seventeen point five. So seventeen point five divided by two. Here seventeen point five divided by two. I'm going to half that's eight three quarter you can see that eight three quarter so i'm going to add um this uh quarter of an inch which will be for the sewing allowance sometimes i can add like half of an inch but here i'm just going to add like quarter of an inch which will be for the same allowance so mark my here also here i'm going to place the same thing here which will be nine Whatever I cut for my shoulder is what I mostly cut for my an old depth in order to avoid uh, too much. So here I'm going to just roll this down straight. I'm going to shape this part. Also. 
so this will be where the hand hole is going to be i hope you guys are seeing it this will be where the hand hole is going to be so here if you have an hand hole cuff you can use it but if you don't have an hand hole cuff you can use a straight you can use your straight hand for the coughing but here i will use an hand hole cuff now make sure it goes a little bit deeper in order to avoid wrinkle on my shoulder like one inches or a little bit more than one inches so i'm going to place it right here I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to mark it. You can see that's what my hand hole looks like. So I'm going to cut it out also. You can see what it looks like right here. So I'll cut it out. I'll be cutting it out from this particular part straight down. This is a casual outfit, so I won't be taking two depths, which will be if you watch my previous video where I took out two depths, I will have the back, I will have the arm hole of the front a little bit deeper than the arm hole of the back. But here is just the casual outfit, so the boots are going to be of the same. So also right here, which is the main thing, which will be the V-neck. My V neck is going to be at thirty inches wild, three point five inches wild. So here I'm going to place my three point five inches because the uh, the neck piping is going to be at two inches. So the space in between my neck is going to be one point five inches. So I'm going to mark in thirty point. 3.5 inches right here I hope you can see that and the depth of the the V neck is going to be at 12 inches deep depending on what you want if you want it a little bit deeper than 12 inches you can go for that but as for me I want it 12 inches deep because I want it to open my chest very well so it's going to be 12 inches deep just mark it place your tape through here and here which is 12 i'm going to mark my 12. the stitch um for the for the wild of the of the piping which is what i cut here is uh two inches so here i'm going to cut out I'm going to, it's going to be two inches which is this total you can see you can see it's going to be two inches but what you what i want you guys to pay closer attention to is if i'm going to divide two inches on this particular part it's supposed to be one inches but for the same allowance i'm going to cut out i'm going to remove just a quarter of an inch from it so i'm going to mark three quarter i'm going to mark three quarter inches here Can see that I'm actually quarter inches right here so from here to here I'm going to mark it and from up here to this place I'm going to take my straight like that you see that so here I'm going to make a simple curve around these edges you see that so now to cut it out pay closer attention I'll put my I put my scissors inside of here just to pull it up then I'll put my scissors inside and I'll start the cutting and at this point where I cough I will also have to cough my hand a little bit after I cut it then I will just cut out this black totally you can see I cut out the black so from here i'm going to cut out the yellow also which is the upper part of the outfit but here i'm not cutting the black i'm only cutting the yellow this method makes uh, this method that i use now we make sure that your shoulder joining and your 
border is joining is aligned together but if you're cutting it separately you might have problem making like they won't be aligned but if you cut it this way so most of the outfit i cut i cut it with this format and possibly all those videos you might have seen before might not follow this process but this is my own way of cutting and i hope it help you one way or the other so here just cut it out so you see what we get we have our our v neck right here so now i will show you guys how to join it and everything as simple as that so let's go to the so here i already cut out the um the pipe for the neck so, uh, the wideness is at two inches you can see so that is it so let's do that right now so here are the things i have here this will be the piping for the v-neck you can see it i'm going to place it here this is the front borders which we cut out just recently for the v-neck you can see that also so i'm going to place it this will be the back this will be for the back yoke you can see this um the back facing and this will be the back itself the back borders so right here the very first thing I'll be doing is I'm going to open it like this. This will be the back side, and this is the front part of the outfit. Also, here, just exactly the way normal outfit is supposed to be, I'm going to place in this is the oh, I even choke the front. God damn it. So, here is the front. Everybody make mistake. Cool. <laughs> so also here is the front. So this how an outfit is supposed to be. Now what I'll be placing now is going to be my my facing. I'm going to place the facing. This is the front, and this is the inside. So I'm going to place it right here. You can see that. hope you can see it clearly I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to start the stitch just like that it's very simple very simple so here don't forget we actually overlay half of an inch at this point when we were cutting we overlay half of an inch so when you start your stitch don't ever forget that that actually play a very very vital role in your stitching and your balancing on the shoulder so you're going to sew in half of an inch from here also to this place we sew in half of an inch straight down to this point also here, make sure this other shoulder is aligned. Same way we did that one. You're placing it also over here. So the three shoulders to be the facing, the borders are aligned. And you'll be sewing in your half of an inch or so. Place it right here. Start your stitch. So you can see this is what we have you can see this so now you're just going to move this to the back just move it backward see that move it backward a little bit then our border is, is almost almost ready so before i continue the stitch i'll need to iron it i'll need to balance it up before closing that um that back side after I'm done with the ironing, you can see it's very straight right now. You can see that part, very straight. Then I will be stitching the back side. I'll be stitching this back side. 
first and foremost, I would need to change my thread. I already changed the thread, so I'm just going to wipe it in. I'm using a black thread for that part. So I already changed the thread. Just like that. Make sure it is very straight. Make sure you run the streets. So I'll be sewing at the tip of that back facing. See, you, you cannot see the stitches at all because I actually use a black stitch right there. Now, I'll be placing the v neck pipe right now. So, I want you guys to pay closer attention. The very first thing I'll be doing is I will have to open this up. You can see, I'm just going to open it up. I'm going to start my stitch from here. So now, this is my pipe, this is my piping, I'm going to place it right here, I'm going to make sure it overlap a little bit, just an extension, and that's why I call this in SS, I call this in SS, let's squeeze it right here, and I'm going to change my thread to yellow or so. So it's changed now to yellow and I'm going to start the stitch. Alright. So now I'm going to start the stitch. Make sure your stitch overlap by half of an inch. It's going to overlap by half of an inch in order to give it the um so that you're going to have a notch, notch space. So that you'll be able to notch that part. So I'm going to start the stitch. Right here. I'm going to start stitching this way. So you'll be stitching it straight up. And at this point where it's curved, you also make sure you curve your hand. That's what it's going to that's what will give you the color part. So you're going to curve. Continue your stitch. Continue your stitch. sure you stitch and half of an inch also here that we overlap a little bit yeah. I want you guys to pay close attention to what we're going to do now because I will still, I will still need to use the remaining table. Make sure you stitch it very really well at this point. All right. So now, so far, this is what we have. This is what we have so far. So the next thing I'll be doing is what I want you to pay attention to. Remember, we have an half inch overlap at this point. I believe you remember that 
this will be half here I believe you can see it clearly so now I will be making a notch I'll make a notch like this and I'll make sure it stop at that particular joining just like that also here I'll make a notch at this at the other side too I want you guys to pay attention to that and this point too make a notch all right so after that our v-neck is almost almost done now you can turn this inside i believe you're seeing this okay i want you to see it very clearly so now you can turn this inside this inside of the fabric you see that this one also you put it inside of the fabric make sure it goes inside very well then you turn this one back up It's going to be very, very clean now, actually. I believe you can see it. Sorry for that. So after you turn it inside very well like this, we'll take it to the ironing table. We'll balance it before we do the close, close stitching. So after we stitch like this, we're going to need to make sure it's balanced very well. You can see that then you iron it iron it straight before we do the closing from under this part so now after this i'll take it to the sewing machine again and i'll do the closing from inside so there won't be stitches at this place at all so this is what we have so far i believe you can see it so here i already do a clean ironing on this part and i make sure it's balanced very well and the neck also is not warping or giving any sign of so now i will have to turn this upward just lift it up a little bit make sure it's still very balanced lift it up well you can see after i lift it up you can see this right here that's what we're going to stitch to the to the V pipe, so just hold it together. Make sure you hold it firm. Place it under the machine, just like that, and stitch. You can stitch it twice to avoid losing. So you can cut this out now. So now this is what we have so far. No stitches. <laughs> you can't see any stitch on the outer part of the outfit except for this one. <laughs> but you can't see it if I'm putting it on though. So here, so we have so far. You take your time to iron it, and I'm going to weave this part now. So I'm going to show you guys. You're going to weave it, and it's going to be very clean. So there won't be any 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 rubbish inside of it. So let me take this one to the weaving machine, and I weave it, and I will add the sleeve parts. I'll add the sleeve. The sleeve is going to be. I won't be adding. I won't be showing that one on the video. The sleeve is going to be this uh, this elastic, this kind of hand. Let me just put my hand. It's going to be very, very simple. You can see that, right? So I will show you guys what it will look like after the video. 
so let me just weave this one and that is all on how to cut and sew a v neck senator outfit for or for any outfits whether you want to sew a a night gown or anything this is how to cut the v neck it's as simple as a b c if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the subscriber button if you're new to the channel and feel free to share it to facebook instagram twitter pinterest share with your friend and i'll see you guys on my next video if you'd like to join the intensive class you can click on the link below to take you to the same workshop website and you can follow the process to enroll so here right now we're we'll weaving it with black black shirt so i already passed it by um, a black shirt seeing that clean inside the clean inside is what you're going to be seeing i forgot to add my label to that front part so i'm the one wearing it so it's not that important so that is it on this that is all hello guys thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit the subscriber button in order to see more video when I upload new and that is all about this video I'll see you in my next video peace out